Greetings and salutations. I'm back down the shed with my co-host, the pool pump. You'll have to excuse me, the shed is an absolute bombsite, more so than usual. I have done a lot of work recently and just things are everywhere as I'm trying to find places to put things while I'm working and I'm tripping over stuff. Now, to a certain degree, you need to plan out your builds. Always having a good idea of what you want and how you're going to do things really does help solve a lot of logistical issues. However, sometimes when you're on a time or a budget crunch or there's just logistics that you can't do immediately, sometimes these things have to be done at a later time. I've got a pretty damn good example. So I'm working on this robot costume, which I want to get done by the end of the month. As of recording this, this is the 20th of March. I've got 10 days. I've had a few setbacks just recently. I've got and done my shoulder in again. So, you know, I'm having to rest and recoup and do a build, rest and recoup, do a build. So one of the logistic problems with planning a costume is how are you going to, not only how are you going to put it on, how are you going to keep it on. Some things just don't, just stay on. You'll need to Velcro things on, you need to clip things on. And so you've got to figure out how these things are going to work. Now, of course, the other logistical problem with this is if you've got a big costume, you need to have someone to help you put that on. So you've got to figure out what is the simplistic way I can get these things done. And also, I don't particularly want to be, let's say, bolted in by like 15 different screws into a costume. I mean, some of these things are pretty easy, like, you know, you got a morph suit, the zips at the back, you get someone to zip you up. You've got to think about these things. So with this costume, I wanted to have a hard material arm, kind of like how I've been doing with the rest of the parts. I was essentially trying to avoid, well, you know, the bendy arm robot thing from B5 from Lost in Space. The problem is, logistically speaking, with the time frame, the budget crunches and stuff like that, it just wasn't viable. So, so I just hit the bullet. Now, I've never actually worked with this stuff before, but I've got to make sure it's decent enough that I can get in and out of this costume and I have some degree of maneuverability. Now, I'm still going to use the claws. As you see, I've already kind of started setting this up, so I was going to have a hard body around this and I'd have it match some of the aesthetics. That's not going to happen, at least not for the end of this month. Now, what I might end up doing is I might go back and replace the arms something more fitting into my initial idea and the designs I'm working off. But for now, I'm just getting it done. And that's something you sometimes need to just have to happen is you just need to get it done. The good thing is logistically, all I need to paint is this. I'm not having to do so much prep on everything else in the arm. The bit that's gonna get really aggravating is I've got to mount a couple of these onto my body. Now I've already done the body box. I've still got to cut out my head and the arms. So I've been waiting to find some kind of fitting to put this in. Now this is designed to essentially fit there. So I've got some degree of maneuverability. So I've got to cut some things on the inside off. I've got to cut one of these off and I've got to glue it onto my body. So there's a lot of logistics going on here. So this is the stuff you've got to consider when you're making a costume is, it's not just as simple as, I'm gonna build it and it's gonna work. You've gotta figure out how things attach to each other. You have gotta figure out how things are gonna work with each other. Sometimes the measurements are just flat out wrong. Sometimes you've gotta fix things. Sometimes you've gotta build a prototype. Sometimes you've gotta try and work with a material you've never worked with before. You've gotta try different painting techniques. Ultimately is where you're gonna to come to some of these hurdles. Always try and find a way around it or scrap it and do something else. This is, once again, why I say failure is always an option. If something doesn't work, don't dwell on it, move on, find a different solution. I'm going with the arms I didn't particularly really want to do. I made a joke that I was going to do them, but I really didn't want to do them. And now I'm gonna, just gonna have to bite the bullet and get it done. I don't have time to worry too much about how this is going to work. I just Got to get it done. Hopefully I'll be making a few more videos on this build. I've got a lot more stuff to do. I've done a lot of progress. So I'll try and talk about it in the next video. So until then, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell down there if you want to get notifications of when I upload. Uh, please leave some comments if you enjoyed this video. If you want me to talk more in length on certain subjects. Or if you want to see me try different things. Leave a comment and let me know. Until next time, see ya.